Welcome to the ET335 Integrated Circuits. We're going to talk about resistor capacitor or RC circuits with digital inputs. Here we're showing a non-ideal digital pulse. The other day I showed you a nice square one. Well, in the real world that doesn't happen other than our function generators. So what we have here is uh, the definition so we have rise time is going to go from 10% to 90% fall time is going to go from 90% down to 10% okay the pulse width we're going to measure at the 50% point okay so these are the uh, measurements that we'll be doing here I'm showing a resistor capacitor circuit with a switch in there which allows us to charge or discharge the capacitor through a resistor. The RC or the RC constant is basically resistance times capacitance which is going to be in time and both charge and discharge are exponential curves that are known. Since we have these well-known curves we can utilize these for fairly accurate timing circuits and, and other types of circuits. Here I'm showing a standard uh, capacitor inductor char discharge curves and what it does it goes up by time constants resistance times capacitance and each time constant we know where that curve is going to be so if we look at this top curve that is the charging, okay? It's a voltage for RC and uh, current for RL, but we're gonna look at the charging V. So after one time constant, we're gonna be at 63.2% uh, max, okay? Two time constants, we're gonna be at 86.5% which is another 63.2% of the original. Okay, so we're going to increase this by 63.2% after each time constant. Okay, so we're going to work our way up from 63 to 99.3%. We're not going to be at 100%, but we're going to be pretty close. It's going to approach that. So we're going to cons uh, assume that a capacitor is fully charged after five time constants. So knowing this curve, we're going to be able to do some timing circuits and some uh, RC type circuit circuitry work. Here I'm showing a RC circuit that we're going to build as a differentiator and we're going to force our components to make an output that we desire. So an RC differentiator is going to be a capacitor and a resistor and what we're going to do is we're going to measure over the resistor. Okay and we're going to utilize the time constant resistance times capacitance and we're going to use this form for a what we call a short time constant, a differentiator and 0.1 times the pulse width over the capacitance. So what we're going to do is use this formula to find the resistance. Pulse width will be the time high and a capacitor is going to be uh, fixed or given. Uh, I will give you uh, relative values in order to get close to my answer on the homework. But in reality these uh, are just a ratio. So as long as we don't get far outside uh, reasonable, that it, this circuit will work. Okay, so we're going to input in a square wave, 0 to 10 volts. Okay, and what we desire is this spiky, which we're going to utilize to trigger other logic circuits in the future. And what we have for you calculus guys, we have, if we differentiate this we have the change in voltage over the change in time. So here we have a very large voltage change over a very short time. So if we differentiate that we're going to get a spike. Okay here we have a very large uh, voltage change over a very short time so again we're going to get another spiky. 
and since we force these components to do this we're going to get this uh, differentiated waveform and here I'm showing the integrated uh, circuit or the long time constant so here what we've done is we've reversed the circuit so now we're looking at the capacitor as the output and what we're doing is we're charging that capacitor based on this formula resistance equals 10 times the pulse width divided by the capacitance so this is 10 times the pulse width so we've got a factor of a hundred times uh, compared to the differentiated so we're going to spend more time charging that capacitor and what we're going to do is we're going to come up with an integrated circuit and uh, for you calculus guys this is a area and for when we integrate something we take a look at the area under the curve so what we do is we put, slice it all up and we look at the area over time and when we look at the area we're going to get this shark fin type output so this is a standard capacitor charge discharge type uh, waveform and we're going to utilize this formula in order to make this happen I don't we're not going to use this um, for any other circuits this semester I believe but this would be an integrated waveform